guys, this worked a lot easier than I really thought it was going to. Uh, it was pretty effortless. You just saw the time lapse of it functioning throughout a day. And so it started off with a panel angle just like this. Uh, this is the west and this is the east. So the sun's going to rise here, travel across the sky into the west. So when you saw it start off like this, it was in the west because that's where it left off the night before. So it's morning again and the sun is coming up here in the east. Now it's, it's blocked by clouds. So cloud cover uh, is going to make this not want to move as well. But it doesn't really matter because when it's cloudy outside, uh, positioning the, the panel this way or that way is not going to make a dramatic difference. But if the, cloud does, if the clouds do kind of open up, it'll, it'll, drop, it'll make this thing drop. But that's, uh, that's what it did. So you, in the video, you saw it, uh, the sun come up over here. And if you saw the, the shadow peering across, you could see that the sun was over here. And as soon as it illuminated uh, this panel right here, it moved the uh, tracker down this way and positioned the main panel towards the sun. Now, I know this is only one panel, and one might say, well, why use, <clears throat> use these little 20 watt panels here? Uh, doesn't that seem kind of wasteful? Well, um, maybe, maybe not, but uh, the, this is just for proof of concept and it does work. Uh, now you could actually you do multiple main panels. You can do two, three, maybe, maybe four. I don't, you know, there might be a, a point of, um, where these, panel, these panels on the sides are not able to run the actuator to move that many panels. But the, since this is uh, balanced, you know, so you need to have it balanced on this pivot point. So there's no extra weight this way, this way. So it, it really doesn't require much to move it uh, on this balance. You know, it's, it just requires just a little bit of force. Uh, the two panels on the end, like I said, are the ones that m move the actuator. And uh, uh, it's really kind of an equilibrium kind of system. So the panels on the, on the side are kind of equilibrium as the sun is e uh, equally kind of illuminating them. And then when the sun tips uh, over to eliminate more on one, then it to, it'll be the one that's driving the um, actuator. So let me just explain how this is wired up. It's so incredibly simple. This is a 12 volt linear actuator. You can get it off Amazon. I think it was like $30, $40. And um, it's a 12 inch, got a 12 inch stroke. So it's got a one foot stroke on it. Uh, you do have to get this distance to here, correct. I'll measure it and put it in the uh, description. And you also need to get the distance from here to here, correct. But you can play around with that. You know, you just move it around and bolt it. But the way it's wired is, so this uh, positive and negative here comes down to the corresponding positive and negative on the um, actuator motor, right? So it's, <clears throat> it'll, illuminating this panel will drive this, this guy um, to pull this in. The other panel, now I know it's hard to see because I, it's hard to tell because I don't have uh, two different colored wires, but it's positive and negative is reversed. Um, those are reversed when it comes here. So both panels are wired together. It's just that um, the positive and negatives are reversed. So that this panel 
uh, provides power to the actuator in, uh, in, in, a, in the correct polarity according to the wires of the actuator here. And this other panel applies power in the reversed polarity. That way, if it becomes the one that gets the most sun, it will be the one, you know, they're kind of fighting. These two are kind of fighting. If it gets the most sun, it'll be the one that overpowers this panel that's providing reverse polarity, and it'll drive the actuator to move out, which in turn moves it this way. I, you know, super incredibly simple. There's no electronics here. There's no brain. Um, <clears throat> not, not anything really to go wrong other than, you know, this motor could burn out. Um, one, one design consideration that I did make, these are super inexpensive and I don't really know how long they'll last or how well they're sealed against the weather. So you might be tempted to put the motor down here and I think that might end up being a mistake. <laughs> because this actuator has a nice little uh, lip right here where water could collect and travel down. I don't know how well that's sealed, but I would think that it might travel down and, and go down into the gearbox and, and wreak havoc with this thing. That's why I mounted it with a motor up here so I could make sure that the rain's not going to uh, ingress into this right here. So, um, I think that would make this last longer. And if it dies, you know, it's $30, $40 or whatever for anyone. That's it, guys. Um, that's it. Uh, like I said, I think this can scale to more panels. Uh, these are these are 20 watt panels a piece. It might be that you could get away with less, you know, maybe 10 or 15 watts. Um, and uh, you might be able to get smaller ones, you know, like if you still stay with 20 watt or maybe 15 watt, you get that maybe a n more narrow panel and mount it to where, you know, it's, it's here, you know, like <clears throat> instead of this long way, I only mounted this long way because it already, these already had these brackets on it and just made it easier. And I'm just trying to test, this is not permanent, but you know, you could turn it um, this way to where it, just doesn't look like it sticks out as much. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you build one. You know, if you've been thinking about building the tracker and think you're trying to figure out the, you know, the, the electronics and the brains and all that kind of mess, uh, I don't think you got you, you have to. Um, could, the, another thing, could, could this might be able to be scaled to do, um, or this might be able to be moved up to a uh, um, a two axis system I'm not sure how um, I guess what you would need to do is take this axis and put it on a pivot but you would also need it to be balanced like this is balanced so that the actuator is not doing too much work if you the actuator is doing too much work the power from these panels is not going to be enough to to make it uh, do its thing so you need a thing to be balanced on a pivot point to where uh, one side's not heavier than the other. That's, I think, the key thing. Hi, bud. Uh, and, and, and this is just, you know, a sawhorse. <laughs> so, which, which would work, I think, in, uh, you know, in, in use. So uh, I've, got, um, I've got these on just little uh, stainless steel door hinges that I already had. Um, you know, so this is a... Hi. Hi, bud. What are you doing? We're doing a video about a solar tracker. All right, guys, uh, uh, that's it. I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, please subscribe and like. Discuss. Let's discuss this. Um, and then I'll see you on the next video. Hey, hit that grub and hit that like.